Katrina follows Ranbir's wish. Siddharth to wait eight years to marry. Katrina helps Ranbir quit smoking. Hey guys, welcome to the weekend episode of 9xc.com the show. I'm Caitlin and we have all the latest goss from Tinseltown. I'm hot, you're not, I'm a superstar. I'm a superstar. Hrithik Roshan sizzled on screen with Katrina Kaif in Bang Bang and we are sure fans were kicked about the idea of seeing the two stunning actors returning for a sequel. But the sizzling chemistry between Hrithik and Katrina in the movie caused a flare-up between Kat and her real-life beau Ranbir. Reportedly, the acclaim that the Hrithik and Kat on-screen chemistry won didn't go down too well with Bo Ranbir. Well, the Besharam actor can now heave a sigh of relief. Ninexy.com The Show has it that the cast and crew of the sequel to Bang Bang have undergone a major change. We have the lowdown on who's replacing who in the movie. Buckle up guys, Bang Bang 2 will look very different than the first movie. Rithik up the cool quotient of the Daisy Spy image in Bang Bang. But the sequel will see the dashing Siddharth Malhotra in the main lead role. Also, the ravishing Katrina Kaif finds herself ousted from the project too. Replacing Katrina is the Chitya Kalaya girl, Jacqueline Fernandez. Our source close to the project had this to say about the changes. The change in cast and crew is to bring in freshness to the franchise. Raj and Krishna will direct a high-on-action thriller differently from Siddharth. Siddharth Malhotra is fast becoming synonymous with action films and his pairing with Jacqueline has not been explored yet. So the studio has a winner on hand. And major, major changes went on, not just in front of the camera but behind it too. Director Siddharth Anand, who helmed the first part, has also been shown the door. Wielding the megaphone this time around will be Raj and DK of Go Goa Gone fame. Our sources said, Siddharth Anand has other plans too. The grapevine has it that Fox Star is keen on co-producing the sequel to Bang Bang along with Dharma Productions. The two biggies signed a partnership deal for a considerably huge amount this year. Well, this might be good news for Raj and DK. Recently, they were in the news for directing Shahid Kapoor and Nawaz Din Siddiqui in Farsi, but that project seems to be in limbo for now. We contacted Krishna about these developments and he had this to say. I cannot comment on this at the moment. Well, at least this is good news for Ranbir. After all, his beau Katrina won't be sizzling on screen with Ritik now. But don't go anywhere, we have some more goss on Ranbir later on in this episode. And as for Siddharth Malhotra replacing Ritik Roshan in Bang Bang 2, we would like to know your take on it. So tweet to us at 9 xc the show using hashtag Siddharth replaces Ritik or talk to us on facebook.com slash 9 xc Controversial reality show Big Boss saw a number of changes when it came to its host. Things calmed down when Salman Khan lent his star power to the program. Hello, Namaste. Salam alaikum, Sastrikal, Game Show. Salman hosted almost five seasons of the show, and rumors started flying that Salman was looking for a change of scene. Names like Ranveer Singh and Farah Khan were pegged to replace Salman by as host on the show. But 9xc.com, the show has now confirmed the name of the host of Big Boss 9. Well, guys, it's none other than, wait for it, guys, it's none other than Abna Salman Bhai. While Salman's association with the show was as much in the news as the contestants' antics, during the last season, Salman had a heated argument with some of the contestants and said he won't be returning to host the next season. But the Bajrangi Bhaijan will return for the new season and now we can all gear up for yet another hosting session with Salubai. The on-off relationship that Salman has had with Big Boss may make fans nervous, but isn't it nice to have Salman in your living rooms every evening, at least for now? Let us know your thoughts on Salman returning to Big Boss. Tweet to us at 9 xc the show using hashtag Bahai Returns to Big Boss or talk to us on facebook.com slash 9 xc Moving on to our next story, guess who just became the biggest fangirl of the man who helms the men in blue? 
colleagues Kiara Advani. She's taken a sudden liking to Captain Cool Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Nanixi.com told you earlier that three talented actresses, Kriti Sanon, Shraddha Kapoor and Alia Bhatt were vying for the prestigious role. But Kiara has edged out the competition. Who's Kiara, you may ask? 9xc.com The Show has the answer. Kiara made her debut alongside Mohit Marwa, Vijender Singh and Arfi Lamba in Fugli. The Fugli star is already in 7th heaven as she will play Sakshi Dhoni on screen. She's cast opposite Sushant Singh Rajput who plays the lead role. Kiara is hoping she will get to meet Mr and Mrs Dhoni soon. In the meanwhile, she's excited and is researching for her part as the leading lady. MS Dhoni The Untold Story is being directed by Neeraj Pandey, the same guy who bought us awesome films like A Wednesday, Baby and Special Chubbis. The film is expected to go on floors end of August so we shall keep you updated on the developments of that movie front. Until then, keep calm and bleed blue my friends. Coming up, Shah Rukh's son Aryan turns up the heat. Welcome back to 9xc.com The Show. We have a lot more stories yet to come. Akshay Kumar brought Punjab to Mumbai for the trailer launch of his upcoming film, Singh is Bling. While the man himself looked dapper in a black suit, sporting classic aviators and a crisp black turban, his leading lady, Amy Jackson, chose to play it cool in a crimson gown. But what really caught our attention was the duo's entry on the scene. Their ride was a rugged tractor and as they strode into the venue, the place came alive to the sound of dhol beats. While our desi boy Akshay Kumar was playing to the gallery like a pro, Amy had a little fall. Well, blame it on her sky-high heels. But our hero Aki not only came to her quick rescue, he also made her feel completely at ease. From being king to being bling, Mr. Kumar has come a long way. Seven years after he took the box office by storm with Sing is King, he's ready to unleash his latest venture on cine screens. Well, more power to Raftar Singh and we can't wait for him to take over cine screens. And from there, let's move on to this week's releases. All is well, starring Abhishek Bachchan and Asin and the Nawazuddin Siddiqui starer Manji the Mountain Man. Our movie buffs caught the movies and here are the reviews. Hi guys, I'm Nafisa Sharma. And I'm Prabhu Daima. And we have seen Manji. So this is a true story of Dashrat Manji who loses his wife due to an accident. She falls off a mountain. He takes this personally and decides to break the mountain and make a road. इस मूवी में है नवाजुद्दीन सिद्दीकी। Now मैंने ये पहले भी कहा है, अभी भी कहता हूँ कि when I watch a film ना, when I see an actor, I think कि अच्छा ये कैरेक्टर के लिए if not this actor, then who would be a better choice? In this case, I can't think of anybody else except for नवाज to do justice to a character like this. He's done a brilliant job. He's one of those actors like I keep saying. उनको बस ये फ्रेम है सर ये खड़े हो जाओ यहाँ पे एंड जस्ट डू वॉट यूर गुड एंड क्रिएट दैट मैजिक एंड ही इज वर्थ सिटिंग दैट एंटायर टाइम स्पेंडिंग दैट मनी एंड वॉचिंग हिम ऑन बिग स्क्रीन ही इज वर्थ ऑल ऑफ दैट इज इज डन अ ब्रिलियंट जॉब यू नो वट आई लाइक अबाउट नवाज इज ही हैज चेंज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एन एक्टर You don't have to have that perfect body. You don't have to have that perfect look. Hmm. All you need to have is talent. Radhika Apte. Now, although she didn't have a very neaty character. Uh, neaty. <laughs> <laughs> Jitna tha, I think she did a fair, good job. Hmm. And uh, but what I also think is that she should do different kind of roles. Now you will say that, ha, she played. Uh, Hunter. Yeah, exactly. Sawal. But still, I Haan. still want her to do something more different, entirely different from what she's doing right now. Okay. So, Sharma Mohtarma, how did the film feel? See, overall, I think this is not a proper Bollywood masaledar hmm. flick. It True. is a very inspiring story. Yeah. All the performances were good. Nawaz was fabulous, and I personally think I would give it a 350 Friday watch. Nice one. So, I personally feel that uh, it was a good film. Mm-hmm. Like you said, very inspiring. One of the very few times when a biography film, a biopic, has done justice to what the story is, and it's such an inspiring story to watch. And uh, I have a bit of my few complaints about the film. I thought it could have been much crisper, as in, uh, zada time, kuch kuch jagao par zada spend ho gaya. Besides that, it's a very good movie. You really have to go watch it. If ye aisi film hai, theater mein jaake dekhiye, aisi filmo ko badhava dijiye. Ketan Mehta has done. A brilliant job telling the story. So on the hot slot, I give Manji 
cut up four thumbs ups. And I give it a three thumbs up. So, Mr. Daima, ah. tell me what did you learn from the movie? I learned one thing and one thing only, which is something I'm going to take back for the rest of my life. Next time. You're into something, you're doing something and you go, Bhai, beta ji, this won't be able to do it. Always ask yourself. The road is a bit difficult. And the other film that we've seen in this week, All is well. Clearly, all is not well. So this is a comedy drama. It talks about a dysfunctional family on the run. Now to find out why they don't have any and why they are on the run, you guys need to watch the movie. In this movie, there is Abhishek Bachchan. Now, see, when, when you're a bad actor, you're a bad actor. You, we've seen Abhishek Bachchan do good work. He's done Guru, he's done such good work. Otherwise, also, you are... Achha, when you can do good work and then you do this kind of work, na, it's just disheartening. Asin. For me, Asin in this movie was on a picnic. She didn't know what <laughs> ah. she was doing. Ah. She didn't know where she was going. Ah. Uh, it seemed like she finished the shooting of Khiladi 786 and she came directly to the set of All Is Well. So, on the hot slot, I give All Is Well. One thumbs up. And I also give it a one thumbs up. Three things you learned from the film. Go. Don't ask me. I'll kill you so much, I'll kill you so much. I'll kill you so much. Number two. अगर आप बैंकॉक से कसौल जा रहे हैं, एक ही दिन में, जब आप बैंकॉक से क्लीन शेवन जाओगे, तो कसौल तक तीन हफ्ते की दाढ़ी आ जाएगी। ये अभी आपको समझ में नहीं आएगा, जब फिल्म देखोगे समझ में आएगा। And number three, हफ्ते में चार शनिवार होने चाहिए, please। ये थी हमारी विशेष टिप्पणी on All Is Well and Maji। Don't forget कि हम movie critics नहीं हैं, हम हैं। Bye bye. I'm going to go to the mountain. Excuse me. Girls, brace yourself for this delicious ab attack. SRK's eldest one sheds his shirt, and we can't help but break into a merry little dance. We like to call it Dardai Abs, part two. This is the Khan Sion in all his six pack glory. Shara Khan's elder son Aryan looks pretty fetch as he emerges from blue waters. Bon scene, anybody? We guess he gets the killer swag from Papa Khan, and all this hard work on a chunky piece of chiseled abs makes us wonder if Khan Jr. is ready to take the box office by storm. And Aryan isn't the only star kid making their debut on social media and taking it by storm. Ibrahim Ali Khan, Seth's son, created quite a buzz when he posted his first up smash. And which was the song he chose? King Khan's Tujh Me Rab Dikta Hai. 9xc.com told you earlier that Seb's daughter Sara was also gearing up to join showbiz. Well, isn't Bollywood's next generation already taking the glamour path? We are super stoked, and with all this beauty around, it is indeed time to start taking note. Coming up, Gat helps Ranbir kick the butt. Sid faces eight years of wait. Welcome back to 9xc.com, the show where we give you the latest news from Bollywood. Love can turn the world. Yes, yes, haven't we all heard that before? But guess what? When it comes to Ranbir and Katrina, love can make the duo travel halfway across the globe. Why you ask? Well, this time the two aren't on a romantic escapade, but they are in search of an elusive something. Katrina Kaif is helping her man get the monkey off his back. She's desperate to have him quit smoking cigarettes. Bollywood sweethearts recently travelled all the way to Austria to check in at a special facility that helps one to kick the butt. The overseas trip that Ranbir and Katrina recently took to bring in Kat's birthday was after all a check-in to the original FX Mayer Health Center in Austria, which helps people to kick nicotine addiction. Does it work? Well, reportedly it seems to have worked wonders for Rani Mukherjee and Aditya Chopra. The two visited there quite some time back. In fact, Katrina first heard of the treatment from none other than Aditya Chopra. Once she learned that the place had helped some smokers quit completely, she urged Ranbir to try it out. Part of the treatment is to inject the smoker behind the ear, subsequently making the smoker quit smoking altogether. Ranbir and Katrina flew off to this health retreat that offers beauty and detox sessions via Germany, and the two bore in her birthday there. 
They checked in to Mare for a week where Katrina did a few detox sessions and Ranbir underwent the treatment to help him quit smoking. 9XC.com has learned that it's been almost three weeks and Ranbir has not inched close to a cigarette. Add a girl, Katrina. And moving on to our next story. First time Karan Johar felt the pangs of love in his life was way back in boarding school and he was 12 at the time. Anyway, that's not important. However, what is important is the fact that his object of affection was not a boy, but a girl. Now we are talking. By Karan's own admission, it was a lady who first swept him off his feet. Get this, guys. She was the only, and I repeat, the only girl I've ever been madly in love with. So she has the rare distinction of having that prestigious part of her historic life that she had me in love with the woman the only time in my life was Twinkle Khanna. Karan was not the only one up to some high-spirited fun at the launch of Twinkle Khanna's new book, Mrs. Funny Bones. The evening which had Bollywood's A-list in attendance was the perfect platform to laugh and be laughed at. He's confessed he was in love with me. I had a little moustache at that point and he used to look at it and say, that's hot. I like that moustache. I will slap you 377 times, Twinkle. Did you think she was a good actress? Shut up! How many times? No, I couldn't act. I'm very happy I quit. <laughs> well, you know, all of us have different uh, abilities. <laughs> and, and no, and I mean that. And, and Twinkle is really talented in, in some of the most uh, uh, amazing, you know, activities like insulting people. <laughs> She's an expert in insulting people. I mean, all through my life, my, since I've known her, she has just constantly insulted me. She made a whole list why she should marry me. And it's, there's a, all my... <laughs> Please go ahead, Demon. Yeah. Apparently, this is something very few people do, but I think it's common sense. So when I married him, I'm going to have children with him, so I made a genetic list. You know what diseases run in his family? I thought I would email you. This is like serious stuff here. Yeah? Huh? This is actually, yeah. But and I hid it in a drawer and he found it, so he's like, that's why you're asking me at what age my uncle lost his hair and what, you know, who has cancer in my family. I keep asking him. That's seriously twisted, Tina. Well, twisted or not, we really do seem to love Mrs. Funny Bones for who she is. With her, what you see is what you get, guys. Just when things were looking up for Bollywood's new sweetheart, Siddharth and Alia, the vivacious bird girl dropped the bomb that the man of her dreams will have to wait eight long years to tie the knot. The perky 22-year-old does indeed have her head firmly on her shoulders. She is at an all-time career high and about to work with the best in the industry. Any personal commitment is clearly the last thing on her mind. 9XC.com, the show, told you earlier that she had dinner with Siddharth's family recently. Mr. and Mrs. Malhotra were in town to catch the screening of their son's latest box office release, Brothers, and their visit culminated with their meeting Alia. How cute is that? We completely dig these Jai Pe Bulaya, Dinner Pe Bulaya scenes. Something indicates that their relationship is going strong. So more power to these cuties, we say. We asked Alia about the qualities her perfect man should possess and she came up with these answers. Definitely ki ye dulha obviously number 1 sabse acha to humorous hona chahiye. Uski sense of humor honi chahiye mujhe hasana chahiye. That's number 1 most important. Fir obviously good looks good looks good looks to hote hi hai. But more than anything I just want somebody who can make me laugh. Acha personality and of course good looks to uske sath hai. And when asked when she's planning to settle down she said I've been married for 22 years. I've been married for a lot of years for marriage. But hopefully, I don't know, you tell me, what's a good age? Maybe when I'm 30. Well, Sid does fit the bill down to the T. What do you guys say? And that's all we have for you on this episode of 9XC.com The Show. I will see you on Monday, same place. Check out our site 9XC.com for more Bollywood news and follow us on Twitter at 9XC The Show. Also visit our Facebook page at facebook.com slash 9XC. You can view our complete episodes on YouTube and download our apps for the iOS and Android to get everything Bollywood on the move. Ciao for now, guys. <laughs>